stop staring. How can we change the way disabled bodies fit into the world? By changing how we look at them. When we're out walking on the street and we suddenly see our favorite movie star, we can be starstruck. We don't know what to say or where to look, we can start staring. Something similar happens when we see someone whose body is different from what we expect. We can be amazed and enchanted by his beauty, but also confused when it's a body we don't understand, or even be disgusted or repulsed. It also matters how we look at disability. We can look passively, like watching the Dutch TV program The Undateables on the couch as disabled people looking for love, or we can stare when we see a body because we can't figure out how it works when compared to other bodies we tend to consider normal. But we can also try to read bodies through art. Try to understand what it is we are seeing and how that connects to the way we react to it emotionally and aesthetically. That way we can reconsider how we relate to them. A lot of attention has been put into the development of policy so that people with disabilities can partake in society. But these policies do not address how we emotionally and aesthetically respond when we are confronted with a disabled body in our work, on the street or anywhere really. Our responses matter because they create different forms of engagement. We might make a person feel uncomfortable or unwelcome because we fear them or are shocked, or on the contrary, might be able to make someone feel like they belong or can be a part of a larger community. When we stare, for example, we are often drawn to something that we consider to be out of the ordinary. But staring can be paralyzing. It can freeze the person being stared at and emphasize that they are being experienced as different. In David Lynch's film The Elephant Man, a fictional retelling of a historical narrative, John Merrick, a heavily deformed man, is being stared at over and over while he is exhibited in different settings, from being on display in a freak show, to being studied in the hospital and even in the home of the physician who takes care of him. His body is continuously being stared at. But by reading this film ourselves, we are able to understand how staring can exclude people through making them an object of display. In disability studies, studying literature and art can help us understand how to read disabilities as it explores and represents the different ways in which disabled people are looked at and experienced in our cultural lives and can help us move from passive forms of engagement, like looking and staring, to actively reading. Because reading art allows us to better understand how certain bodies become objects of display, things people simply look at, it also allows us to rethink how we want to engage with those bodies ourselves, not only as something we look at, but as people that can be an active and enriching part of society. Different forms of engagement matter in how people can participate in society and art invites us to critically and creatively consider and study what those different modes of participation could be.